Turbo. Today, what's good, y'all? Ladies and gentlemen, of the welcome jury. to the Turbo Zone. Welcome to the Turbo Zone. <laughs> here we are. It's, it's your hosts, Alex and Teddy, here Kong. today. Teddy Kong, <laughs> Alex Kong, out here in the calm, Alex. in the country. I'm very, I'm <laughs> very have, chill today. We have returned. And, we have returned. Uh, he, we, he's, we, he's chilling. But... We had to fight alien beasts to the turbo zone it's but we're a, back it's been a turb turbulent period for us but a lot of laser fights a lot of laser fights but it never ends <laughs> so, here anyways we we're going we're going deep today how deep are we going alex we're gonna talk about fighting games we're gonna get it on we're like it's we're like it's 1970s or like so, it's 80s Donkey kong. like it's teddy kong teddy kong t kong out here <laughs> The turbo zone is is going going to the the fighting zone. We're we're going to violence fight. Oh oh, we, oh. I brought it there. I brought it there. Oh, oh but not, not violence fight. Uh, oh. Anyways, um, wh why don't you give a little backstory on your familiarity with the fighting genre? Um, well, I'm gonna be honest, which is gonna probably hurt my street cred here <laughs> in the fighting game community. Uh, my introduction to fighting games was actually through Mortal Kombat. Hmm. When I was a kid, uh, I played Mortal Kombat uh, 2 back in uh, back in the day for the Sega Genesis, and it was like my fa favorite thing ever. I mean, it was like violent and fun, and I don't know. And then from there, my my like curiosity about the genre just sprouted, and I went and I played other games like Street Fighter and like you know the art of fighting and whatnot. And you know that's kind of where my where my history came from. Very cool, very cool. Um, I, I'm a big fan of Mortal Kombat. Uh, you know, I like the, the 3D ones, but uh, I also enjoy the 2D ones, and I can respect them. Uh, personally, you know, my history is I, I remember going to the cinema, you know, the movie theaters, and they had some arcade machines set up uh, back before 2000 struck, and uh, the, the death of the arcade machine occurred. Uh, but I remember games like Street Fighter 2 and such, and I, even Neo Geo MBS cabinets. Um, they were very fun to, you know, invest some quarters into. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed, yes. <laughs> that's definitely, yeah. That to me is like the, the classic experience of uh, a fighting game, is playing it in the arcades. Yeah, but sadly our generation hasn't had a lot of you know, chances to actually play a lot of those kind of games in the arcade. It sucks. It's true. It's true. I, I did, I did. Uh, one time I stayed at a hotel and I did get my hands on a Tekken machine. Nice. I played the crap out of it. <laughs> that was pretty sweet, but <laughs> um, I don't know. So, um, well, as a more specific focus, we're gonna instigate a death match here. Dun, uh, dun, dun. Put to the test, you know, violent fight to the end. Uh, 2D, violence fight. <laughs> violence fight to the end. 2D versus 3D subgenre fighting games, which will reign superior. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man! So, um, so uh, we'll we'll, we'll make points for each one respectively, and then we'll we'll make, we'll come to a consensus by the end, or not. Oh uh, yeah, we 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 might just babble like idiots and then yeah. never come to a actual conclusion, and then leave you very unsatisfied as you click off this video. That sounds like the more reasonable approach. Well, let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll start off with talking about some two D fighting games because that's where kind of where the you know whole thing started. Two dimensions. And I don't think you could talk about 2D fighting games without bringing up one game. What is that game, Teddy? Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, well, Street Fighter 1. Yeah, have you played Street Fighter 1? Do you? <laughs> Can you? That is the question. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a great start here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's just skip Street Fighter 1. It didn't happen. Blah. Okay, Street, Street Fighter, Fighter 2. 2 is Street Fighter, right? Yeah, it it is where the whole the whole fighting game genre pretty much sprouted. You know, that's kind of where where like the whole popularity of the genre picked up. Sure, was... and we see a lot of uh, knockoffs. You know, steal, like not exactly stealing, but uh, they were trying to capitalize off that success that the Street Fighter Mortal Kombat phase had brought into uh, yeah. gaming. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, see, there were tons of knockoffs of both those series because both of them were immensely popular back in the day. Mm, um, but they, they definitely they... were worth their salt. They. Uh, they were fun games for sure, and something you can always just kind of enjoy and get into. <laughs> and then, and then, kind of like off to the side pocket, you had like the the uh, SNK uh, Neo Geo fighters that some people got to play if they had the money. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> so, but talk about so. arcade experiences that that just feels authentic. Is playing those even today on those collection discs. Oh yeah, I love I love good old SNK fighting games, man. They're so fun. Games like Samurai Showdown. 
uh, which are just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think they, they just mastered that, like, old school, like, 2D fighting game style. Yeah, and those games hold up really well, too. They're just, you know, they're very beautiful. They, they look nice when you play them. And, yeah, definitely the style. They have that uh, classic, you know, j- j- uh, j- 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 Japanese setting. Um, <laughs> Japanese. J- j- Japanese. Nihon. <laughs> it's a new catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, that's, we got it. Stutter, stutter Squad out here. <laughs> stutter Squad. It's a, it's a showdown with, with Samurai. Um, yeah, but that's definitely one of the iconic ones. And, and then they had the, um, what do you say they were? King of Monsters games? The Godzilla ones? Oh, no, no, no. King of Fighters. Uh, King of Fighters, too. Oh, is that yeah, S- that's, that's uh, Neo Geo as well? Or... Yeah, that's the series. It has, like, characters from, like, Fatal Fury and Art of Fighting and, like, all these other series kind of mashed together. And that's that series is still going on. Like, they're doing a 14 right now. Nice. Yeah, like like they're still going. <laughs> <laughs> well, in any so case, that, this that, really that, feels that like tell you something. this really felt like the golden age of fighters when they were at their at their peak. They have made a resurgence over years, like the two D fighters. We see a lot oh, yeah. of you know uh, new ones coming out, and like Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear and all those kind of series. Sure, and... Senron, Kagura, but and they'll bring us to another point later. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but basically, you know, they just have this, this, you know, simplicity that holds up really well. And, you know, there's still a lot of work going into them. And to some effect, I feel like they're superior to 3D fighters in their sense of uh, control and competitiveness. You know, they have a very preciseness. And it's like, it's hard to really feel like you're going wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, you know, the only way you can go wrong with it is you play, like, 3D balls or, like, Primal <laughs> Rage or something. You know, sometimes I forget that's actually a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't know it was a fighting game. I thought it was more like a seizure. <laughs> like, just like, the, whole, the whole game is just a seizure. I can't control it. <laughs> well, just, that doesn't surprise happening? me. It's like but uh, effective. yeah, no, like yeah. definitely, like the like like there's much more focus on control, and I think 2D fighting games from an art direction standpoint holds up miles better because they they focus on like more usually more sprite based. Uh, Artwork, not not Mortal Kombat though. You go look at those games; they use the photo realistic stuff. <laughs> yeah, but those games are funny. They they kind of establish that goofiness that is iconic of a lot of two D fighters too. You know, yeah, taking the risks and uh, making it look just, just making it fun, even if it is excessive. That's true, but uh, I don't know. I feel like we did a pretty good job. I mean, what, what's your favorite? Uh, I guess era of two D fighting games. I don't know. I just think of like the classics. I don't. I don't think too much of the uh, other ones that you know were were trying to break ground or you know trying to, to copy the formula like the Eternal Champions or the uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's how I feel about it. Um, I think. Uh, I think my of like Dreamcast. Yeah, I definitely. Think. I think that's. But I don't. You know. And while that's definitely iconic for the two D fighters, I remember that much more for the uh, Soul Caliber. Oh, here we go. Like okay, this is a good transition. Let's let's transition over to three D fighters. There you go. Soul Calibur. Enough said. Good night. Ted, <laughs> why uh, don't you uh, take the reins? Explain uh, why you like three D fighting games. All right. Well, three D fighting games to me just feel like they were were trying to provide a more cinematic experience. Uh, you know the Soul Calibers and the Mortal Kombat games. You know the transition to three D for Mortal Kombat. I will argue was for the better. Uh, well, in particularly in the uh, sixth generation consoles, like the Mortal Kombat Deceptions, and uh, there's another one, I forget what it is. The there's uh, Deadly Alliance. Yeah, everyone seems to and, like that. And, and Armageddon, so... Armageddon, yeah. Well, I know you can play <laughs> chess in that one, so that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> um, I feel like, uh... 3D fighting games, while I do like a lot of the series, like, like Soul Calibur and Tekken and stuff like that, I feel like they lost a lot of the, like, like like control and like preciseness okay that comes with a 2d fighting game um whatever they did transition over i mean and there are series that i do like in, in 3d like one of my favorite fighting game series is virtual fighter right it's so fun but it's just i don't know i feel like they they lost that it, it, it became more about i don't know this like clunky control and moving around the whole the whole uh field and whatnot that's true. I will. I won't uh, go against you in the fact that it is harder to kind of like move around, but I will argue that it's more like you're in a judo ring or something like where you're fighting each other, mm-hmm. uh, you know, head to head. It's not perfect, but what it does well is is actually it's really cool that you can get into it. And I just find the experience uh, so 
energizing. I just get so into it, you know, when I'm playing Soul Calibur on the highest difficulty. Like, I can really button mash and feel like I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Soul Calibur is a lot of fun. That game is definitely among the top tier 3D fighting game series. Absolutely. One of the uh, most iconic, in my opinion. Uh, I think the most iconic, in my opinion, would probably be Tekken. I, I think Tekken's really where the. Okay, the, yeah, the, the everyone whole 3D seems fighting to craze. enjoy Tekken. And also, since we're on the topic of. Uh, 3D, you know, third dimension. They were definitely going for more impressive visuals. So, uh -huh. Alex, would you care to talk about jig uh, jiggle physics? <laughs> dead or alive. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oops. I'm sorry. Oops. <laughs> jizzle physics. Ladies and, ladies and uh -huh. gentlemen. And then that evolved into beach volleyball, and then we all know what happened there. So, um, as far as we need to go. Game Informer covers. Am I the only one I'm raising my hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i but the problem with 3d fighting games is also like i said 2d fighting games i feel like from an art design point they can kind of keep it up and like okay. you know like yeah. like like a lot of those old games still look very nice today you go back and you play a, a 2d fighter sorry a, a it's not not 2d a, a, a 3d fighter from like the ps2 era mm. it is it looks pretty rough it okay looks... but the ps2 is you know arguably it's, it kind of has muddy graphics a little bit that's true, for a lot that's of true. Games. But still, soul you know, caliber does not look nearly as bad I know. Yeah, but, yeah, we don't even know. Like, like the polygon or, graphics just hold up really well to me. I don't know. Really? That's just personal. I don't know. I've, I've always had a problem with polygons because, like, they they don't hold up, and that's why they can re-release it as like. I don't know. I got this weird nostalgia makes... for it, but uh, that's just me. So <laughs> you know, don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. <laughs> but I I won't go against you there with the two D you know style holding up well. I feel like there's a nice depth perception between the foreground and the background, and uh, I don't know. You know, there's not as much room for for messiness so 2d is very cool and they're charming you know they're they're fun games <laughs> with like the things you see in the backgrounds like the level design and things like that it's just very creative but to say some you know good things about 3 some of my favorite like fighting game memories has been playing virtual fighter mm -hmm. uh because that that series i i feel like even like they they kind of dodged the bullet of like being clunky and they kind of kept that like tight uh nice feeling control hmm. uh, when it comes to fighting games so yeah, that's definitely one I need to get into, but I know they have so many of them by now. I'm really surprised that one held on for so long. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I guess Sega will to die. That's great. I mean, that's great. They're holding on to something that's, you know, tangible. This is not Sonic. It's, yeah, that's also not Sonic. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> it's not Sonic. <laughs> but let's not talk about Sonic. Even though we could talk about <laughs> Sonic the Fighters, but who wants to do that? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> let's, let's not go. You want to talk about it? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to talk. Yes, I want to talk about Sonic the Fighters. Sonic God damn it. Is no. Awesome no. <laughs> Sonic the Fighters is a game when we can play Sonic. <laughs> well, you can talk about Smash Brothers. I know Sonic's in there. Okay, no, okay, we're not going to talk Okay, we, we should just go ahead and dodge this bullet here. Okay. Sma Smash Brothers is its, is its whole, it's it's its own genre. A, f a party game. Yeah, it's, it's a party fighting game. It does not belong in this list with other games like Street okay. Fighter and like Okay, War. I know this this is a touchy subject uh, for a lot of people. I know. I'm just saying I don't Let's I don't want to go there, right? <laughs> um, but I, I feel I like it has to be brought up. It, you know, because party fighting games are a thing. What about Power Stone? You know like Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like that's his own genre though. I'm not going to put those in here with like the, like 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 to me fighting games is the health bar that slowly lowers, you know, and like you know, okay. and just on one screen, okay. you know, you know one side one person on, on you know on the other side. Well, then I'm glad we talk about it then, because that at least kind of gives you a definition for the fighting game. Yeah, and so, like, you know, so, like, you know, I, I love Smash Bros., but the problem is, is if I put Smash Bros. in the same category as as the games we're talking about today, it, it would win, because it's, it's the best, so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> in my opinion. No, that's fine. I mean, it is a, it's a, you know, a damn good game, and they do a great job at it. Uh, but it is unfair to categorize it in that fighting game genre. Yeah. But you can't say it's not a fighter as well. No, yeah, no, no. It is a fight. It's just its own weird little game, and you know? like it's it's hard to like like put it up against other games because nothing else plays like. That. Same thing with Power Stone. Nothing else plays like that, so it's hard to put it in the same category. Okay. No, that's fine. I mean, I just wanted to bring it up. So, where do you uh, figure violence fight into all of this? I figure a uh, violence fight uh, and pit fighter should team up. Okay. To make violence fighter. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the most awful thing I've ever touched. Yes. And uh, it'll probably uh, it'll probably kill me. Yeah. Because it's not very not very good. All right, let's not make it. 
<laughs> so, um, we could talk about Shaq Fu. I mean, we, you know, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's there's so many bad. That is one thing I can say. Not saying there's not bad 3D fighting games, but there's a lot of bad 2D fighting games. Yeah. Like like a whole like a lot of bad 2D fighting games. So that's something 3D fighting games has. Is that there's a lot less junk in the in, in the library. That's true. Yeah. I mean, the pr- the production values are higher, so. You can't that's expect as much, uh, you know, room for failure. Especially Namco, man. Namco puts their all on those 3D fighting games. Yeah. So. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I don't know. So who? I don't know. Who wins? Who wins? Who 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 wins this battle royale? You decide. Leave in you, the comments, right? Leave in the comments. Uh, you vote for 2D fighting games. Vote for Turbo. Vote for Turbo. Yes. <laughs> Vote for Turbo Zone to get their own fighting game. All right. The, the Turbo it'll have, Turbo fight. <laughs> it'll have two characters. Yes. Three characters. Three. No, okay. Two characters, including you. Yes. <laughs> including me. Yes, and me, Eddie, yeah. and, the, and, and the viewer. That's the only. Three That's characters. it. It's 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 on. <laughs> the Kong family. <laughs> we're we're out here. <laughs> oh man, we really got nowhere with this. We just kind of talked about fighting game. That's okay. So uh, so Teddy, who do you feel wins? Who do you? Okay, I mean, 2D wins, I, granted, because it just did a lot more, right? And it's kind of set standards for the genre. But to me personally, it will always be the 3D fighter. Mm. I'm torn. I think I like 2D, like I said, because I feel like it holds up a lot better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I definitely had a, a, a lot of good memories with some 3D fighting games. So I'm torn, but I think 2D should, yeah. 2D probably. should win, right? It should. It yeah. deserves it. Yeah. Um. And you know, even the resurgence now with like a lot of the handheld games, like the Vita games, and um, I feel I feel Vita. like there's yeah. Well, <laughs> That's a video for itself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh. no Tango. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tango una Vita. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> oh. Um. But yeah, but 2D. I oh. mean, come on, right? <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> Cast you fight. <laughs> that's that's yeah, great. That's... Uh, we got to talk about that movie sometime. Oh man, we need to like commentate over that movie or something. That we movie, could. Movie's... We could. That movie's great. <laughs> yeah. Talk about iconic. And you know what? Fighting games. I feel like make for the best movies. You said violence fight deserved a movie. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> like, who wouldn't go to the theater to see that? Like, great. Movie, like. Right? That's John like... Connery. And <laughs> violence fight. Like who now wouldn't? That. <laughs> That'd be too good. You get uh, all the world fighters, you know, like the uh, was this Vietnamese guy and the. I don't know. Where am I you going know. with this? <laughs> yeah, the, the, that guy. <laughs> that one. <I> <laughs> all the Hollywood ones, you know. No, I know. I would want characters who aren't fighters, like put like Vince Vaughn in there. Okay. <laughs> jiggle physics. That's that's all I ask for. <laughs> just, just, just real life jiggle physics. Yes. Wasn't it like a Dead or Alive movie? Did did they do that? Was it? I've been missing out. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there was, but I feel like it was probably underwhelming because there were less boobs than people I expect. It. Yeah. So. Try anyway. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I have a question. Oh yeah, go ahead. If you were to mesh up the characters of some video game universe uh, into a fighting game, or you know, between universe I, universities, I don't know. Uh, what would you mix up? This one might. Not be that obvious, but I feel like it is because it's it's got its own comic book series now. Mm. Mega Man and Sonic. Nice. That'd yeah, because cool. they have that whole comic series going mm. on. I don't I don't know if it's still going on, but it happened for a while, and I feel like those characters could make a really cool fighting game mm. if they did it right. Meaning like 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 Capcom make it Sega. You just kind of sit back and talk <laughs> about your Sonic Boom sequel. Just let right. yeah. Capcom make the game. <laughs> there are definitely a lot of good Sonic characters. I'm not too familiar with the. Uh... The Mega Mans, but uh, they got good uh, robot masters and stuff. That's true. The and the bad guys and stuff, and also yeah, so that's the what dog they and, and, is all those characters. And then Sonic has a whole slew of stupid characters. Like, <laughs> I feel put, like uh, <laughs> Mega Man shows up in a couple of fighting games aside from Smash. Um, he well, yeah, he was in Marvel's Capcom two and right, stuff. Right, right, yeah. I don't count it, but stupid looking Mega Man was in yeah. uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Yeah, but the guy with like the scissors on his head or something. I don't think we count that guy. No, so. he's he's. <laughs> He's on his own. <laughs> he's just, he just kind of was, was there. Drifter. <laughs> I don't know. Who do you feel? Personally, I would love to see all the characters from F Zero X be in a fighting game. 
Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Well, technically, we have the Falcons already in a fight. I mean, what? <laughs> well, but you, you, there's no one else there's, aside yeah. from Captain Falcon. How about Samurai Goro, or how about like the twin Robo guys, or whatever they are, uh, the G- Gomorrah twins? I don't remember. That's true. The, I, I don't know. There's a lot of cool character, cus- like con- conceptualizations. Of- I feel like they they have that fighting style in them, right? Yeah, yeah. They could definitely make a cool fighting game. I mean, he wants, you know, who doesn't want to? They take that from comic books. You know, they like the character style, the character yeah. design. And, uh, you know, it's a shame they haven't really done anything with it, aside from, you know, occasionally play it safe. You're well, still hoping, thing. but... Ooh, that's something we could talk about. You know, I was thinking about Nintendo, like, how they don't really have any other fighting games, but Pokémon's coming out, dude. Oh, dude, mm. and that's going to be 3D, right? Or is it 2D? Yeah, this... yeah no, that's two, that, That's 3D. I mean, it's, it's a Tekken-type game. Oh, okay, it's, you know, right, right. It's Pokémon. That's <laughs> um, <laughs> a stupid name, but oh. Pokémon. So, <laughs> um... It just doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's what just Tekken, Tekken with Pokemon on it. <laughs> but, well, does Tekken have um, a meaning? Yeah, it definitely looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to be picking it up when it comes out. Definitely. I mean, that's that's a system seller that they've been waiting to to have. Yeah, it was it was in Japanese arcades for a bit. I heard. And they were just like, okay, we'll bring it to Wii U. And it's like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and localize. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Super sweet. Right. Well, that's it. We got violent, or we tried. We got violent, we fought. <laughs> The battle has been waged. The the the, 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 the I don't know what I'm gonna say now. I forgot my. <laughs> the decisions of, are inconclusive. All aboard the train of thought. Woohoo! All aboard the turbo train, the turbo zone. <laughs> turbo train to the turbo zone. Is that <laughs> is is that how we get to the turbo zone? We we could we could try that out. Is there a train? I don't know. It's kind of old fashioned. We could. Well, um, it's a turbo train, so it's like new age. Right. It's like a bullet train, like you know, like you know, like in Japan, where they like go like super fast. I'm picturing kids on roller coasters, you know, with their, their like hair flying back. No, kids aren't kids aren't allowed the turbo zone. They can't handle it. Oh well, I mean that's the imagery, you know. I get like you know, it's like uh, you ride you the turbo train, the turbo zone, yeah, and it's the, like you're on a roller coaster, and your face is like, you know, melting backwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Whenever you cross over to the turbo zone, you have to. Uh, it takes a lot of endurance. It so. does. Yes. It does. T- test uh, of stuff. So, uh, no, 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 kids, please. No. Um, so. Same with fighting games. <laughs> We no no kids in fighting games, right? Are like, there? Are they? I don't know. I want a kid fighting game. That seems terrible. Wait, no, Virtual <laughs> Fighter did one though. They they, they they had a kids game. That's weird. Huh. Who, wants to, who wants to see kids beating each other up? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Save me the um, promiscuous women, and uh, I'll be happy. Anyway, anything yes. you want to say to the viewers before we go, Teddy? Uh, fight on. Fight on. Fight raw raw. <laughs> fight the power. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Let us know what you thought of the fighting movie video. What? What yeah. the fighting video? Fighting. <laughs> oh, I don't even know <laughs> what this is. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Turbo zone. Turbo zone. Turbo right. zone. Turbo. Turbo zone.